Treasure by Joyce de Coulard and Sarah Comcord. In the mountains of Thailand is a beautiful library filled with shelves of books. One day, Noina the Bat found an old piece of paper hidden at the back of a shelf. Do you know what this is? Noina asked Sarai the penguin who was reading nearby. It's a treasure map, squawked Sarai. Sarai looked at the map. It says that to find the treasure, we will need a vine, a fishnet, a bunch of bananas, and a flag. He said, well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find them, said Noina, flapping her wings. Noina flew out the door and towards the town, with Sarai waddling after her. Noina and Sarai continued down the road until they reached an elephant park. The elephants were having a cool drink by the river. Hello, elephant, said Noina. Do you know where we can find a vine, a fishnet, a bunch of bananas, or a flag? Hmm, said elephant, thinking carefully. There might be a vine in the jungle. So Noina and Sarai went to the jungle. Look! There's a vine, said Sarai. He tried to grab it from the tree, but it was too high. So Noina flew up, 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 and got the vine. Sarai wished he could fly too. He tried not to cry. Come on, said Noina. We still need a fishnet, a bunch of bananas, and a flag. The river twisted through the jungle until it reached the sea. Look, there's a fishnet, said Noina. She tried to reach it, but it was too deep in the water. So Sarai swam down, down, down. And got the net. Noina wished she could swim like Sarai. She tried not to cry. Come on, said Sarai. We still need a bunch of bananas and a flag. Across the water, they could see a banana tree on an island. I'll fly over to get some bananas, said Noina. Then I'll swim to look for a flag, said Sarai. So they each went a different way. Noina felt lonely as she flew to the island. Sarai felt lonely as he swam in the sea. The water got colder and colder. He reached Antarctica, and there he found a flag left by an explorer. Then Sarai swam towards Noina, and Noina flew towards Sarai as quickly as they could. I missed you, said Sarai. I missed you too, said Noina. Now they had everything they needed. But where was the treasure? The treasure map had an arrow pointing up. So together, they climbed up a mountain using the vine. At the top, they looked around, but there was still no treasure. So together, they used the vine, the fishnet, and the flag to make a hot air balloon. Up they went. Higher and higher, Sarai and Noina flew so high that they reached outer space and landed on the moon. They were getting a bit hungry, so shared the bananas as a space picnic. When their bellies were full, Sarai and Noina looked around. There was still no treasure, but there was a rocket ship. Sarai and Noina. Climbed into the rocket. Three, 
two, one, blast off. Whoosh! Said, said I. The rocket zoomed down and landed at the library with a soft thump. Noina and Sarai looked this way and that, up, down, and all around. There is still no treasure, said Sarai. Yes, there is, said Noina, putting her wing around Sarai. You are my treasure. From that day on, Sarai and Noina were great friends. Noina was good at flying. Sarai was good at swimming. But best of all, they were both good at helping each other. This audiobook was recorded for the Bookworm Foundation. Written by Joyce de Coulard and Sarah Comcord. Illustrated by Marcel Bartolomeusen. And published by New Noon Books Project Team under the Foundation. This was produced by Yoshimi, directed by Emmy and Kunika. Destiny is Narrator 1, Victoria is Narrator 2, and Gaia is Narrator 3. Nana, Sarai, Paula is Noina, and Mr. Rick is the Elephant. Edited by Elon Putter and Sound Music Selection by Angel Minton Pound. We would like to extend our gratitude to Yoshimi, guiding us and giving us the opportunity to create this audiobook. Thank you.